What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing some of the biggest week one games of the 2024 college football season. We are getting very close to the start of next season. So today I wanted to start previewing some of the biggest games of next season. And week one has a lot of interesting games. Texas A&M versus Notre Dame will head to game day for week one. And this is a huge game for both of these teams. For Texas A&M, it is a chance to kick off the Mike Elko era with a win against a top 10 team. And this is also going to be a must-win game for Notre Dame. Notre Dame will probably have to go 11-1 or 12-0 to make the college football playoffs. They aren't in a conference and they have a pretty favorable schedule. So kicking off the season with a win against Texas A&M would give them the momentum in the right direction. If they end up losing that game, their playoff chances are going to drop drastically. This is a must-win game for both these teams. Both these teams should be competitive on the defensive side of the ball. Notre Dame arguably has the best returning secondary in all of college football, and Texas A&M should also be very tough up front, especially after adding one of the top edge rushers in the country from Purdue, Nick Scorton. Texas A&M also returns Connor Wigman at quarterback, who has star written all over him, and Notre Dame adds Rylan Leonard at quarterback, and with the guidance of the new offensive coordinator Mike Denbrock and some of the new offensive weapons, this is a Notre Dame offense with potential to take massive strides from last year. And I think it is interesting that Texas A&M is a one-point favorite in this game. I understand Texas A&M has this game at home, but they have a new coaching staff and they have some new faces on this team. Notre Dame returns a lot of their top stars and they didn't have any massive staff changes outside of the big pickup of offensive coordinator Mike Denbrock. Regardless of what the spread is in this game, I think this is going to be an incredible game with massive stakes. The next game I want to talk about is the Sunday night week 1 game between USC and LSU. This game is going to be a lot of fun. And ultimately this game is likely going to come down to which defense steps up in the end. This game could end up having 100 plus combined points between these two teams if we look at how bad these two defenses were last season. But it's a new season and both these teams had massive changes to the defensive coaching staff. LSU hired defensive coordinator Blake Baker from Missouri and he was known for his very aggressive defense at Missouri. LSU has one of the most talented defensive players in college football, Harold Perkins Jr., and he is going to be a monster on the defensive side for LSU in 2024. USC has a completely revamped defensive coaching staff as well. They signed multiple former NFL guys and also high-profile former FCS coaches. The defenses have potential to take massive strides, and this game could definitely set the tone for both of these defenses next season. LSU was going to have an incredible offense, and Garrett Neusmeyer was going to sling the ball deep. USC has some new faces on the offensive side, but the quarterback room is stacked with Miller Moss and Jada Maiava, and they have a stud at wide receiver waiting to break out who is Zachariah Branch. Both these offenses are going to be top-notch, and I have no doubts about that, but I'm interested to see how these defenses perform. LSU was about a 6.5 point favorite in this game, which is pretty fair if you ask me. This is definitely going to be a fun game to watch. The next game I want to talk about is Florida versus Miami. And if we want to talk about a game with high stakes, this is one of them. This game is going to be a huge tone setter for both of these teams. These are two coaches with a lot to prove. This is going to be a huge game for the state of Florida. Both these teams are pretty talented, but they haven't necessarily proved it on the field yet. Florida ultimately has a much more difficult schedule. So this is really a must-win game if they want to have a successful season. Billy Napier is on the hot seat, and anything less than a bowl game could probably get him fired. Florida has the most difficult schedule I have ever seen. So if they manage to pull out 7 or 8 wins, this is probably a top 25 team, and Billy Napier would probably keep his job. Florida really has a lot to prove. And if Florida can win 6, 7, or even 8 games with that schedule, then this team could be very scary moving forward. DJ Lagway will be ready at quarterback in 2025, and they will have a much easier path than 2025 with an easier schedule. So next season is huge for the Florida Gators, and it's really going to set the tone for the future. And it ultimately starts with a home game against a Miami team that is a favorite to win the ACC. Mario Cristobal and Miami also have to prove that they can compete at a high level. They do recruit at a very high level. They have one of the best transfer portal classes of 2024. Bringing in studs on the offensive side like Cam Ward and Damian Martinez. This realistically could be a 10 win or better team with that talent. But playing in the swamp to open the season is not going to be easy. So like I said this is really a huge tone setter for these two teams. Both these teams desperately need a win to open the season. 
So I am interested to see who wins this game. Right now, Miami is only a three-point favorite. So we should be expecting a close and exciting game between Florida and Miami in week one. The next big week one matchup I want to talk about is Georgia versus Clemson. This is supposed to be a neutral side game, but this game is in Atlanta. And you could basically say Georgia has the big home field advantage in this game. Georgia is a pretty big favorite in this game. They are 13 and a half point favorites over Clemson. And personally, I don't think this game is going to be close. Georgia should really take over this game in the second half. Clemson may put up a fight and keep it close in the first half, but Georgia has the all-around better talent. And not only does Georgia have a dominant defense, but they have an offense led by one of the best returning quarterbacks in college football, Carson Beck. And if Clemson somehow managed to win this game, I would be surprised. But if Clemson did win this game, that would be a huge statement win for Dabo Sweeney and the Clemson Tigers. If Clemson beats Georgia, this is a team that would likely go undefeated and be in the national title picture once again. The hype has kind of died down for Clemson because they have continued to disappoint the last couple of seasons and Dabo Sweeney refuses to adapt and use the portal. But I am interested to see how Clemson can hold up against this Georgia team. And if Georgia was to lose this game, that would really hurt Georgia. Clemson could definitely recover from a loss in this game. But if Georgia loses this game, that's going to be hard to come back from. And that would definitely hurt their playoff chances. But like I said, I do not see Clemson being very competitive in this game. The next game I want to talk about is West Virginia versus Penn State. Now last season, Penn State won this game pretty easily. But it is a new season. And West Virginia does have this game at home. West Virginia could be a sneaky team, and I could see them keeping this game close. They return a lot of production on the offensive side of the ball, and this team is coming off a 9-win season. Imagine how big of a win this could be for a team like West Virginia to open the season. Do I see West Virginia winning this game? Probably not. But it's college football and anything is possible. And this is kind of an underrated game in my opinion. This is not the biggest game of week 1, but it's definitely a game I am looking forward to. So I figured I would cover this game a little bit. Another interesting week one game is Michigan versus Fresno State. This game probably will not be close. Most of us understand that. But this could still be an interesting game. And maybe Michigan struggles with a new head coach and new offense. And maybe they do come out slow against Fresno State. Fresno State is a solid group of five team with a very good quarterback. And this is going to be a game to watch. Because Michigan plays Fresno State week one. But then they go on and play Texas week two. So I'll be watching Michigan to see how they handle a pretty solid group of five team. Fresno State has been competitive with the Power 5 teams before. So no, I am not expecting a close game. But Fresno State is no team you should take lightly. And this will basically be the appetizer before Michigan's big week 2 game against Texas. There's only a few big week 1 games, but I'm going to cover a couple more games anyways. And Vanderbilt versus Virginia Tech should be an interesting game. And I am expecting Virginia Tech to take a step up in 2024. And I mean, why wouldn't they? They return basically everybody on their team and they have a lot of positives moving forward. Kyron Jones is one of the most underrated quarterbacks in college football. So watching Virginia Tech play on the road in a weird atmosphere against Vanderbilt should be pretty interesting. And if Virginia Tech handles it well and wins this game big, I think that will be a sign of great things to come for Virginia Tech football in 2024. And I'm excited to see how that Virginia Tech offense looks in that game. Because Virginia Tech might just be a sleeper to win the ACC in 2024. The next game I want to talk about is Florida State versus Boston College. In last season, this game came down to the wire and Boston College nearly upset Florida State. This is a sneaky Monday night game for Florida State. They play Georgia Tech week 0 in Ireland. Then they have to travel back home and get ready for this game. They'll have extra rest for this game and Florida State should win this game. Right now, Florida State is a 21 point favorite in this game. But this is a big opening game for Boston College, and it's a chance to make a statement. They have a chance to take advantage of a team that has already played a game on this season, and Bill O'Brien will probably have Boston College ready in this game. Boston College has a new head coach, but they do return a lot of the talent from last year, including star quarterback Thomas Castellonis. This game could be a blowout, but it was close last season, and I would not be surprised if it was close again. This should definitely be an interesting Monday night game. The next game I want to talk about is the Thursday night matchup between Minnesota and North Carolina. This is really a 50-50 game in my eyes. These are two teams that will likely be competing for bowl eligibility or better, and it may not be a huge game, but I am interested to see how that new look North Carolina offense plays against a pretty solid Minnesota defense. North Carolina also returns Amarion Hampton at running back, who is a 1,000 yard rusher. 
And Minnesota brings in a new quarterback, Max Brosmer, and he's an interesting addition. These are two interesting teams with some new faces from the transfer portal. So I'm looking forward to this Thursday night matchup. I could have covered the FBS versus FCS matchups that Colorado and Oklahoma State are playing in, but instead of covering those games, the last game I wanted to talk about was the Friday night game between TCU and Stanford. This will be an after dark game at Stanford Stadium, and this is going to be a fun game with a lot of points. This is a pretty underrated week one game in my opinion. Stanford has had three consecutive three win seasons, but they have been recruiting pretty well and they return a lot of the production from last season including Ashton Daniels at quarterback and one of the most explosive receivers in college football, Elik Ironmanner. So I am interested to see how they play against this TCU team. This should be a very fun offensive battle to look forward to. This is a Friday night after dark game, and it should definitely be an appetizer for the big games on Saturday. So I wanted to give Stanford versus TCU some attention. The start of the college football season is about two months away, and I'm definitely hyped for the start of next season. So I decided I wanted to start covering some of these games. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.